Howdy folks and welcome back to yet another Brick Grid Blender beginner class. Uh, I did promise you some bonus content which I'm going to show you now. I'm going to turn on my screencast key so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, okay, and the the um, download that I'm going to show you <coughs> is for something called Book Gen. Now I'm going to scale my cube. I'm just going to scale it in the z direction a little bit, and I'm going to scale it. Whoops, I'm going to scale it out a bit so I've got a flat surface. Um, so if you go to Google, type in Book Gen, and then Plus Blender, it, the first hit should should be Book Gen by Oliver Weisbath. Weisbath. Um, I'm, I, I I assume he's German. Um, I don't know the correct way of pronouncing his name, so I'm sorry about that, Oliver. But if you go to Oliver's website um, and you're using a recent copy of Blender, you can just click on the download button, which will give you a zip file, which is called bookgen.zip, I'm pretty sure. Now, I've already installed it, but to install it, you go up to the Edit menu, you go to Preferences, you click on Install, you go to your Downloads, you find the, the book gen, uh, I think it was book gen 1. Zero 01, you click on it, click on install. Um, once you've done that, in the search box for the um, add ons, you can type in book. Um, yours may not be enabled by default, but if you put a tick in the box and then go into save preferences, it will make sure it's installed. Uh, it comes up in the side panel here. So, and you can get to the side panel by either pressing the N key to pop out the menu and then select the book gen tab, or you can use the little triangle pull out to, to pull out the menu, select book gen. It needs a surface to put the books on, so I'm going to choose out a stack of books. Uh, it gives you a little cursor, so you click and then. It's asking which way you want the books to face, so you click again and then you can build up a nice stack of books. Let's do another one. I'm going to add a sideways stack this time, so you click and you can just pull it out for as many books as you like. And if I select one of these books and go into edit mode, let's just put that away. If I zoom in a little bit, I'll press L to select all the linked vertices. If I change my window here to the UV editor, you'll notice that that book is all nicely UV unwrapped, you know, the spine and such like. So um, if I go into object mode, and they're, they're all unwrapped the same. You'll also notice that if I pull out the side panel, um, it keeps settings on each stack, so you can you can select the stack that you've got and you can change the height, or you can change the depth. In fact, it's changing all of them. Um, I believe you can make. I believe you can make separate settings for these um, anyway it's uh, a super nice tool that has been created by Oliver and it's very nice of him to release it for free uh, and it's an easy way to to create lovely stacks of books that are already UV mapped so I hope you find that useful and I hope it will save you some time with your blend ring Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Discord channel and to give us like and comments on the YouTube channel. And take care. Happy Blender until next time. Bye for now.